Hello everyone, I'm Karen for yet another update, and there's going to be multiple things in this update. I'm going to have to do a few videos to cover these additions, but today, courtesy of Dandaman827, you're going to be able to do custom wave music for your home screen user interface, and I'm going to give you an example of this in action. And uh, Ed Mitchell did a tremendous job with this song originally a few years ago, and I'm going to link to his video in the description, but it is what I chose to use for my custom music. I'm going to the main user interface here. And who knows what this song is? Take a guess. It's the Goonies theme, Goonies Are Good Enough by Cindy Lauper, and this is a guitar medley version of it. But I'm gonna show you how to do the custom music with today's update. I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you this in action. Now I'll show you the pertinent H mod that you have to install to do this. Here's what happens if you pull a flash drive out without safely removing it. You tend to get the possible corruption on the flash drive. I tend to do this quite a bit. Let me adjust my uh, camera here. So I'm going into today's core set update. And this would be for 1.24.18. Going into the extras folder, USB host folder, the HMODs folder, and you're going to have a new HMOD here called Dandaman External user interface for 121.18. You're going to install this via the transfer folder, etc. And what's going to happen is once you have it installed, you're going to have a new directory on your flash drive. It's going to be a user interface directory. Once you go in there, you can go, it'll be coded to your region specific system. I'm going into here, going in deeper. I'm going to the sound folder. And these are all the sound effects that are on the system. So right, first thing I would do, once I install the HMOD, I would do this in your case, but I've already done it to an other location. I would do a backup. And I would copy all the files. Obviously, I have this file replaced already. You can see it's quite a bit different than the other ones. But before you change any music files out, you're going to want to back them up to this backup folder. And the one that you're going to want to change the home music with is going to be the BGM Home Wave. And you need to have a proper PCM format wave file. So take an MP3 and use an online conversion program. Then rename it to BGM Home Wave, throw it into this folder, and power it on. One thing to warn, forewarn you about, if you have the improper format and you turn the system on, you're going to be greeted by an ugly C8 error. But in order to get rid of the C8 error, what you're going to need to do, and the way this is the genius of this HMOD, right now it's using the user interface on the flash drive, but if you entirely delete this directory, and then power down the system, and then power back on without the flash drive, it'll revert back to your normal internal NAND flash memory, and the C8 will be gone. Then you can simply reinstall the HMOD and redo that music WAV file. You'll be fine. And then another thing I'd like to show you additionally here is, once you replace this file, you notice when I turned it on, it had a few seconds of the normal home music, and then all of a sudden it transcended, like transitioned right into the other music. I'll show you what you can do to change that out too. So I have my backup one here. This is the one I replaced right here. I'm opening this with uh, my VOC player. And it's taken a second to open since I have quite a few processes running. So it transitioned into that, but it first started playing this. By that little transition piece. So what I'm going to do is go back to my core set and I included another thing to be able to fix that transition if you want to have just the normal music. 
So I'm going back to 124. I'm going into this uh, Music Hack H mod. And I'm taking this Music Wave file here, which is from the original H mod. I'm simply going to copy and paste here. I'm going to rename this so I have the name. Then I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to rename this. So now I have uh, silence for the intro, and then it boots right into the normal music. Again, if you have a C8 error, just completely delete the user interface folder, power down, power back on, and then redo the process. You can install the HMOD over and over again and keep redoing it, and you can delete the folder to get out of the C8 error if you have an improper format type. But definitely uh, back up the music. Like, make a backup folder that way, say how I did this uh, silence here. Say I want to revert back to it. All I have to do is just copy and paste it right back, and it'll reuse it again. But I'm going to power it up real quick, and let's see if it transitions from the silent music right into the normal music, rather than playing a few seconds of the original music and then my custom music. Again, this will be in a course set update, which will be posted very shortly. So when I power it on, it should transition from silence right to the custom music since I replaced that with the, the silent wave from the original age mod. See, so it completely bypassed that music. So, hope you guys enjoy the update. You can, do now, you can now do custom music on USB host using this tremendous age mod. And for the record, there are many, many, many other more advanced things you could do with that HMOD. If you uh, are an expert with a certain script, then you could actually change Mario. And ha instead of having Mario run across the screen and jump up and do the demos, you could have Sonic the Hedgehog do it. So just a little heads up on the more advanced stuff you could do with this tremendous HMOD, courtesy of Dandaman827. But enjoy the update, and there'll be more to come.